Okay, Tyler isn't here today um, to start the video. He couldn't be here, so we'll we'll do his bike um, at the end of the video. But Liam's with us here today, and we recently picked up this 2021 YZ85. And for Christmas, he asked for a bunch of stuff for his bike. And so we ordered some numbers for him as well. One of the things, so he's sticking with his 787 that was on his uh, YZ65 before. But with the new color schemes, we went with kind of a blacked out blue background. Um, we're not going to show installing the graphics today. It's not something fun to film. If you go to do your own graphics, I just recommend having some type of plastic squeegee like tool to push in your lines and take your time. Take your time. So anyway, but some of the stuff that we'll show putting on today, what did we get? We got, I got you guys uh, each radiator a radiator guard. Radiator guard. And an hour meter, a clutch, and then the brake. Brake and lever. Fork bleeders, and I And he doesn't know, know what these are. These were just for fun. Oh, and grips. Oh, yep. And we got grips. Those are important. So we got grips, and then I got them some carburetor parts. That's more for me, so I can reach in with my hand and adjust them. Um, one thing to note on the OD grips. I ordered these from Rocky Mountain. They send you out a different attachment for the throttle tube. So this guy's got to pop off on here and you put this one on instead. But Liam had those on his 65 and loved them. And so I let, um, I made a little arrangement with the kids. We left them on the 65 for Tyler. Um, and then Liam wanted them again. And I'll show you over here on Tyler's bike. These are adjusted for Tyler. Tyler's hands aren't that long. And with these dial knobs, you can adjust how far back or forward they sit. And so for the kids, that really helps adjusting them for their hands. Um, they could make do with the factory ones, but you know, a lot of times riding is comfort and doing things without thinking about it. And so having your levers, which are, you know, pretty damn important, having those levers within the reach of what the kids prefer is way better. So Liam, why don't you come on your bike and show us how your hands fit the stock lever? There you go. All right, so if you look, hold your hand straight out. So you're not horrible, but I'll be curious where you end up putting them. This thing is tilted. Well, that's because you like your grips rolled. So he likes, based on where he likes his levers, you have to tilt the throttle assembly and the brake kind of together. Uh, put, your, put your hand right there, Liam, I just want to see. So I'll be curious if you end up putting these closer or further away once we get the pro tapers these on. These things break like the first crash. Yeah, well they're designed to. These ones don't have cutaways, but like on my 450L, they actually got part of the uh, lever cut out so it snaps easy and doesn't damage the rest of the assembly. So what do you want to do? I don't know, Liam, what should we do first? You want to do the levers uh, first or something else first? Grips. You want to do the grips first, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, well let's get those going. Okay, so Liam's going to help me film while I get some of this stuff out. Evan's out here too. We're all just kind of hanging out. Versus hassling on this, Liam. Liam, do you ever want to use these grips again? Do you like these at all? I don't think you did. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to do the easiest thing possible and I'm going to cut that grip off. But from the factory, there is barely any glue on that grip. Okay, so let's get your new one. Missed. Whoa, losing parts. Yeah, these grips, they include, oh, I know the table's a mess, but there is this, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then there's already an adapter on here. So they include six different throttle adapters and it still wasn't the right one. All right, so we're gonna need, on here, there's a little Allen head for the, uh, it's okay, little Allen head for the uh, clutch side. We're not gonna worry too much, let's see. Let's see if he's got one that'll fit it, or he might have to. Oh, wow, that fit. I'll be darned. Okay. Can I talk right now? Yeah, you can talk. It's your bike. <laughs> cool. I don't know. <laughs> A lot of times on my videos, I tell Liam to shut up in the background, but today he doesn't have to. Okay, so we will let you kind of finalize, Liam, where you want it, but for right now, I'm just gonna okay. snug it lightly. All right, so we'll just tighten it up about right here. Okay. Come where? So on the throttle side, we gotta get all these throttle screws out to open up the assembly to let it go. Now, I'm not gonna throw away this grip because it's hooked up to a stock throttle tube and it's kind of nice to have a spare just in case. So right here underneath here, you can see there is just a single cable hooked up 
to this throttle tube. So we got to get this out of here and this new black, there's going to be a black piece that replaces the factory one. Two screws. Okay. Oop. So we'll take this cap off. And now if you come apart, and there you go. Okay, let's come over here. Okay, and so what's nice on here is these packages are labeled, because I got one for 65, because Tyler got new grips too, one for an 85. So it tells you on here, it says F for front. And yeah, you can just tell. So the front side's smooth, and when I pop this back side off, maybe. Good grief. <laughs> there. Okay. Come in, it doesn't want to go. I'll get it. Hold on. Okay, so we got the new cap piece on. Slide this over. And this is going to come through. And we just got to get the little tip back in in the same spot. Hope I don't screw up your bike, Liam. How are you going to feel if I break your bike? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are you annoyed that I'm making you film? Yes, it's boring. Well, how do you think I feel working on your stuff for you? You have the camera set up on some. And I have to hold this thing. I want to go finish my square wood thing. I don't love you. I got two more pieces. I'm halfway done with it. There. Good grief. Okay. Got that. Okay, so Liam wasn't willing to work with me because he's making some type of contraption. What is that? Backyard tic-tac-toe? What are you doing? No. That's the letter L for Liam. All right. Well, <laughs> I want to get it done, so I'm going to just let him be. Okay, so now I got the grip on here, Lucy Goose, and so I'm going to get the brake off and put the Pro Taper brake on. Everything's loose right now because I want to get everything on, and then we can... When I got the brake and clutch on, we'll let him get used to where he wants his grip position. So let's get the brake on now. Okay, so the brake side's pretty easy. You've only got one bolt in here and a nut holding the lever. So I'm just going to get this side done and out of the way. Okay. And keep the lettering straight. And there you go. The brake side really is just that simple. Okay, so I got to put the boot cover back on here. But I like Liam's choice of the black and white grips. Black handle controls on here. I'm going to do the clutch side now. I'm just doing a lot of this by myself. My dad's helping. If you guys want to see the full video of how to install these Pro Taper grips, um, I'll throw the little card up in the window right now and you guys can see a, you know, kind of full-blown installation video for those. But she's coming along. Okay, so I've got, we've got the grips on. Move your hand real quick. So we've got the Emming grips on. We've got the Pro Taper controls on. And so I've got everything loose right now. So now I'm going to have Liam sit here and see where he likes his height. For the first adjustment, you can see his hand right there. I'm gonna take this as an example and I'm gonna put this to like full extended reach. Look how far away that is, Liam. Show your hand. Way out way there. Yeah, I know, put but it back in. I'm just saying. So now I'm gonna go all the way in and look at the difference that makes. Huge difference. So I like all the way in. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the camera down. We'll get there. the grips adjusted That's to his good. height. You like it? Just like that? Yeah, and this one higher. Okay. So. He's making this easy for me. I think he's gotten used to what he likes doing. And that's good. Already. That's good? You're already done. Just done? All right. Yeah. Bye. 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 What should we do next? Uh, I'm thinking radiator. Fork bleeders. Fork bleeders. Okay. So you've got your fork screws up here. And we got Liam. What did we get you? Uh, the air out the forks. We got you the Motion Pro fork bleeder. So we will put those on. The only thing I'll tell you guys on here, they're really easy to install. Take these screws out. Put these in. But you can scratch this, so I used on mine, I put a paper towel lightly over that as I installed it to not scratch the crap out of the cap. One reason Liam's really not fully paying attention to me is we dug out some firecrackers from the reservation. And the one good thing I'll say about doing fireworks in the winter, can't burn nothing down. Well, I mean you could. Don't give me too big a challenge. So what are you doing, blowing up snow? So my question is, looking at this situation, is we have a gas can right by him. It's empty though. You're good. I'm in Where's your bike, huh? Come on, bring your bike, house. bring your bike. 
Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me present Evan's brand new CRF 80. No, that's not it. That's CRF not it. You need the 150. I know. I'm gonna bring it on Saturday. You gotta come over and. Two see strokes it. are better. No, I know they're not. Two no, strokes not. rule. Okay, fork bleeders in. Uh, next thing to do on here is the Works Connection radiator brace. Um, I'm not doing full install videos on these of how to's because if you look at the brace, it's three bolts and that's it. And we're done. And it's only one radiator on these bikes. So I didn't feel like these were a full blown video. I did order the black one. They can come in, uh, they can come in chrome or black. We went with black for both bikes. So we have the stock bolt right here. This one, they give you a long one with a spacer. That's pretty straightforward. Now on here, there's like a half circle all the way going down. It's kind of hard to see. We have to take the shroud right here and cut a little groove so it sits flush in here. So that's not too bad. So we're just going to take a Dremel and cut a groove into this top piece. And then they give you a longer bolt to go through here. And then that will be done. And hopefully if he crashes, both him and the bike are okay. What does the radiator guard do? Well, it prevents the radiator from twisting. So like pretend... If you crash and that radiator is standing and it hits the ground, the radiator could twist. And if your radiator twists, it's done. And radiators are like 150 bucks each. No, Why do you only come with one though? Not. Oh yeah. Because it's not a big enough radio. motor. No, I only have. More power. So we got the works connection radiator guard in there. You can see it black sticking through and just ground out the fender where we needed. That was overall pretty easy installation. Okay, if you guys can see in there, I just installed a brand new, the black part is the idle adjustment screw. You can do that by hand. And it's a little longer than I would have liked, but we got a new air adjustment screw in there. So if I ever need to do anything now, you can reach down with your hand and you don't have to use tools to make tr track side adjustments. So that's kind of a convenience for me and it looks good for him. But at this point, we've pretty much got his bike done for the day of what we're gonna work on. So let's fast forward and see what those graphics look like. Okay, that was a really bad snap because now Liam's bike's over here and it was over here. And here's Liam's bike where we left and now he has his graphics on though. And I think they look damn good. So we, need, we might need to find something for those front fork guards, but again, these are the factory effects. I forget what combo kit it was. Um, but every year on Black Friday, they run a sale. So we order new numbers if we need them. And so if you look on here, we are able to get this blue that really makes it pop because there's lights amount of a second lighter shade of blue. And so by matching that into his kit, it looks fantastic. It looks really good. And before it's too late, we've seen the bike a million times, but here's the 787 from Liam on Tyler's bike. I took the number plate off so he could take that home, put it in his room hang it up so anyway so now we'll see how tyler's bike looks once we get the updated graphics on and we're going with the ending grips as well for him but he's going blue and white and then over here for tyler we've got his uh new number plate on his name's kind of hidden on here sorry i got his apart a little bit we'll show it when it's done and he stuck with the 60 265 he couldn't think of a number and i told him i said well it's 65 cc and it's a two-stroke be proud of what you own. So there you go, 265. That's the number we came up with. So now over here, we are putting in his works connection radiator guard. I gotta drill a hole here so there's room for a bolt. There's gonna be an extended bolt for the gas tank. And then on the shroud, once this is sitting here, it's a lot wider. And so on his number shroud, where'd I put it? Here it is. So over here on the number shroud, I gotta take 3 16 of an inch of all the plastic all the way off. So um, not too bad though. Like I said, you just drill, drill a hole here so you have an opening. So you have one, two, three inside of here mounting points. And then we'll trim this piece up, boom, put it on. Hold on, hold on, just a second. Don't go too deep. I'll do it in a second, nope. Too deep. But hey, you wanted to help. Supposed to take three sixteenths of an inch off, he took half an inch, whatever. It's all good. He didn't hurt nothing. Okay. So Tyler, I made him run across the yard. He's excited. What do you got there, bud? Your new grips? new grips? What color did you pick? Um, I didn't really pick it. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You said you wanted white and blue. I did. 
So if you didn't, you said that's what you wanted, that means you picked it. Oh. Okay, so for Tyler, we got the white and blue emming on here. So just like Liam's, I'm gonna cut this off. We were using the pillow top lights. Um, but again, I just swear by these grips. I love these things. So everybody's switching to them. Okay, so we got Tyler's new grips on. And just like Liam's bike, it's hard to see here. I put a hand adjuster for the uh, throttle speed and a new air fuel screw in here. Uh, just longer ones that you can reach and spin with your hand track side. You need that height from your boots, don't you? You're a little tiptoe. Hey. Yeah, uh, you haven't started this for a few months, so. Oh, and while he does that, he has fork leaders down there now, too. God dang it. At least through editing, Tyler, people don't have to wait forever for it to start. Nice. Yep. Let it warm up. I want it to get warm and then we'll adjust your idle screw. You'll be riding soon. Yeah, I think I need to idle you up because when I push choke in, we're on choke and it's barely running. Yeah, okay, let me turn your idle screw in. See if he remembers the clutch. Good job, Tyler. Now stop at the end of the driveway. Pull the clutch in. Yeah. Okay, stop. Okay, there's no cars. Go to the end of the fence and turn around. You're cornering a little fast for not having boots on. That's how you twist ankles, just saying. Okay, now carefully go back to Papa's shop, okay? Are you in first or second? Okay. Good job. Good job. Huh? He remembered how. Okay, the kids left me. They are useless. That's right, they watch this channel. They're useless. So anyway, Liam's bike is done. You can see all his graphics kits on here. He went with the black Emming grips. Both have the pro tapers. Here's Tyler. He's got the blue and white Emming grips. And his number's on here. So, we're ready to ride. So anyway, even though the kids left, they're nowhere to be found. You will see them again on the bikes. So if you watched the video this far, thanks for watching and be sure to keep riding.